I said it, absolute scenes at Sycamore. How good is Philip Kransky with the Sky Fox 19 drone? Look at the rainbow in the background. This shot is just off the charts good. Great stuff tonight the GMC from our guy, Philip. Let's check in now with Jackson McCarty at Winton Woods. Yeah, guys, when these two teams matched up last year, when Woods got Kings to play their game, that Warriors defense did what it usually did last year. They ended up coming away with a 13 to 12 win. This year, the Knights are returning a lot of firepower on offense, so it should give this defense plenty to test early in the season. Number eight, Justin Hill leading the Warriors out. He took the top spot in our top 19 on 19 list, but his secondary shows out first. Nate Dawson reading the screen on the opening drive. He'll be seeing you back to the house for the junior, 7-0 early on. When you got a receiver like Nate Lyman on the roster, though, it's only a matter of time before you get your revenge. He shakes his defender with a nasty side step here. Now, hear me out on this one. I think Landon Anderson might be superhuman. The front seven makes it a no-fly zone, and number nine just keeps on keeping on until he finds pay dirt. That's now two pick sixes for Winton Woods in the first half. Both offenses struggled a little bit to start this one. Bryshawn Brown gets it rolling near the end of the half, puts some mustard on this pass to Sianta Stewart, and the defense just can't catch up. Wynton Woods continues an impressive defensive stretch. They head into the next week at 2-0. For Fox 19, I'm Jackson McCarty. Okay, Jackson sideline pass now to watch St. Francis de Sales and Baden. This is our second chance watching Baden. These kids are nasty on defense. Alex Pate, the hit. Sam Von Hagen, the recovery. And even though his son just fumbled, this is a look of a coach who's playing Akron on Saturday. Ryan Day, rather comfortable. I know the helmet sticker is an Ohio State thing, but helmet sticker tonight to Alex Pate. Forced the fumble, blocked a punt. Baden didn't win, but they did score. Here it is to Sales by a couple touchdowns. There we go, I'm back. Kirk Herbstreet, special game for him. His son playing, Chase Herbstreet, at Centerville, where Kirk Herbstreet went to school. And you can see Dad is pretty proud there in the stands. Got game day in Morgantown on Saturday. And then here, a touchdown for the bomb squad. Daniel Vollmer runs it in. St. X, they bounce back. After a week one loss, they win 34-10 over Centerville. You know what Justin Timberlake said at his concert in Lexington? I've never had a bad time in Kentucky. Noah Miller knows. <laughs> he caught this tackle for loss by a Jackson fan, like the Bobs with Michael Bolton. I'm a Jackson fan, fan. See you, Lloyd. Caleb Evans, Tyler Copeland, more trips to the crib than Chris Brown. Don't sleep on the jugs. Bookmark this, they will win playoff games. A word on Boone County. Shutout win week one, my guy DPA with the TV. But tonight is about Lloyd and a post game party at Triple E. Okay. You know, you know, jugs by a bunch. I stopped by McNicholas tonight, and I got to tell you, I'm hearing good things about the Rockets, man. Highlights on the FQ.